Uh, hello, everybody. <coughs> so, um, so SOK stands for Systematization of Knowledge. And we thought it was, uh, this is John work with Agilos Kiaias from Edinburgh and IOHK. <coughs> and we thought it was a good time to gather our thoughts and try to classify you know, what's the situation with this problem, consensus problem, that has again a renewed uh, interest with the you know, advent of uh, blockchain protocols, Bitcoin and so forth. And that's what we're doing this uh, work. This uh, consensus basis is a somewhat ancient problem as this uh, slide that I found, where you can see uh, impossibility results for solving this problem, in this case, the Byzantine generals problem as uh, Lampard et al. formulated it in uh, the early 80s. So it has been around for a while. And this thing that I show you is like the broadcast version of the problem, where there is a single source, and all the parties have to agree on, um, on what the, the result is through a, you know, um, through a protocol. I have a, yeah. And the consensus problem is actually the version where everybody has an input, and everybody is supposed to have an output satisfying uh, these are basic properties, everybody has to agree, and it's all start with the same, pro the same value, that has to be the, the outcome, and that's a validity or non-triviality condition, and of course this thing has to terminate, okay? So this is uh, somewhat uh, is classical stuff. And uh, what, so this stuff, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the important fundamental problems in the area of distributed computing. It's an important instance, uh, uh, basic instance of secure multi-party computation, building block in cryptographic protocol, and so forth, and has uh, renewed interest recently with the advent of uh, blockchain protocols. You know, more interest from wider research community, and uh, in fact, new ways of approaching this problem. Okay, as suggested by Nakamoto in this email, uh, uh, trail where you know, he suggests that the you know, blockchain and proofs of words can be used to solve what he calls the Byzantine generals, which is in fact the Byzantine agreement problem where everybody, has, where everybody contributes an input. Okay, this was a very informal suggestion which doesn't work because it doesn't satisfy this uh, non-triviality condition, but it is uh, one way he was suggesting to do this. Okay, so what we do in this work is we try to systematize what's going on in the consensus landscape and classify it according to what was done classically and what is done in the blockchain uh, space. And this is one way we classify, we just look at assumptions or resources that the protocols make use of from a network point of view. You have a communication, what kind of communication primitives like point to point as a classical, uh, approach versus peer-to-peer -peer diffusion, that's the blockchain approach. We look at what kind of setup these protocols have to have, no setup, you know, public state setup or private state setup. The latter is what we call a PKI, for example, public key infrastructure. The public state setup would be a CRS, a genesis block type of setup. And computational, which means what kind of security guarantees do we have, information theoretic, and if computational, what kind of uh, things we use, like one-way functions, proofs of work, random oracle, and so forth. Okay, and I won't mention this uh, last stuff. Because this classification kind of looks like, oh, and before I do that, so one observation is, in the cryptographic computational setting, you need honest majority to solve this problem consensus. Okay, which is not sometimes universally known, but this is the case regardless of what resources you use. So we get a picture like this, don't bother reading all everything, but on the left, what we have is the classical world, and on the right, we have the, the new world, the proof of work blockchain world. And uh, the layers are you know, network layer, where we do point to point, and what kind of pre communication primitive, peer to peer, what kind of setup the protocol makes use of, computational assumptions, can we have information theoretics, signatures, and round complexity, which uh, is not that important right now. Okay, so we do this classification and we point out some of the apparent uh, contrast. For example, note that 
in the cryptographic setting with a private setup, that means a PKI, if you follow the blue line, we know how to achieve consensus in you know, tolerating a, major, a minority of corruptions. Okay? That's a, it's sort of a classical result. What is less known is if there's no setup, I means you're using signature, you're using cryptography, but there's no setup, you cannot get this a half bound, but you cannot do better than a third bound. Okay, you, uh, because signatures are of no use. You don't have a consistent PKI. Okay, now the contrast comes up next. Oh, not yet. So what, what we did this is in this, uh, in this uh, paper with Angelos and Leonardos is we show how to do this approach, solve this problem using a new approach, using a public setup that will be a Genesis block, using powers around the oracles to get the one half. Okay, so it's somewhat consistency, set up in both cases, uh, try to set up in both cases, and uh, one half uh, corruption tolerance. And this is an interesting uh, thing, that's why it's in green, where we also show this uh, PKC paper where we show that you actually don't need a Genesis block to you know, achieve consensus using uh, blockchain protocols based on proofs of work. And this is an apparent contrast because here we know that using no setup, you cannot do better than one third, and here we got one half. And it's an apparent contradiction, because as we show in an upcoming uh, paper, we model how to do this and um, how resource constrained, uh, you know, we have a new term called resource, cons resource constrained crypto that explains how those, this, this, these two worlds um, collapse. All right, so that was the consensus taxonomy. What is relevant in the, you know, blockchain, Bitcoin, and so forth, is this version of consensus, sometimes called Nakamura consensus or ledger consensus, which in the traditional distributed computing literature has been, is uh, called state machine replication, where you actually have a ledger, right, and transactions are added to the ledger in such a way that there's a consistency property, everybody sees the same uh, you know, thing, and there's a likeness property that says, you know, this thing evolves, makes progress, a new, trans a new transaction are, 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 are added, okay? So we have a classification for this according to the state of the art, and it kind of looks like this, where if I point to our same paper again, you can get um, this ledger consensus using a Genesis block, you know, pass proofs of work, and achieve one half, and without no setup or modification of the previous protocol, you can achieve this without trying to set up, and there are more references here, including Algorand, which is on the right side. Okay, that's, that's what we do. The stuff is in the ePrint, and uh, of course it's not exhaustive, you're probably missing a lot of things, so send us comments. Thanks. <laughs>